with regard to conformal field theories, I mean, most of our listeners will be familiar with the term quantum field theory, in which um, quantum mechanics, special relativity, and classical field theory merge, and subatomic particles like electrons and neutrons are viewed as excitations of underlying quantum fields, but they may not have heard of conformal field theory. So what is the the, the rough relationship between the two terms? Well, a, a, a conformal field theory is a special type of field theory um, that has um, has a, an extra symmetry, a symmetry under scale scalings, that the physics at different scales looks the same. Now, if you had a theory with massive particles, the, the, the mass of the particle sets a scale, and the, the theory would not be invariant under scalings, so it would not be conformal. Now, if you took something like the standard model and you went to very, very short distances, the theory is approximately conformal. So, um, the, so that's an example. So we have these examples in nature. So if you take, for example, the theory of quantum chromodynamics, and you studied that um, the energies that we studied in the LH Large Hadron Collider, um, it behaves close to conformal field theory. It's not exactly conformal, but it's close. Um, and um, yeah, so so that, that's roughly a conformal field theory. So it's a theory where you can approximate all particles as being massless. So there is no no mass scale, and the interactions have a constant strength, um, as constant as for diff as a function of energy. Um, this is not quite the case in the standard model, but this, the, 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 the coupling constants depend a little bit on the energy, uh, but they change slowly with energy, so um, it's close to conformal. Um, and now, the, uh, conformal field theories are easier to analyze because they have more symmetries. Um, they also arise in other physical circumstances, so for example, uh, in systems of, that describe um, second-order phase transitions. At the phase transition point, uh, the statistical physics, that the statistical system that describes that uh, situation is uh, conformal invariant or scale invariant. So conformal invariant is a little more than scale invariance, but I won't get into the difference between the two. So let's just, for the purposes of this, let's say it's the same as saying that you have scale invariance. So, um, scale invariance means that if you have some excitation of some size, you could also have a similar excitation of a bigger size and it would behave in a similar way. Um, so, yeah, so these conformal field theories are sim simple kind of field theories, simple in the sense that they have more symmetries and they arise in variety of uh, physical systems. Second order phase transitions, quantum critical points in condensed matter systems, and uh, let's say in, the, in nature at short distances.